Hi guys, my name is Andy from Mobile Must Have, and today we're going to talk about connection issues. Okay, so you've made it to your new location, and for some reason, the internet just isn't working as it did from where you just left. So let's look at a few different things to make sure that the connections are all set up as they're supposed to. The first thing we're going to check is the actual hardware itself. Do we have power? <laughs> did something get unplugged? Um, are all the antennas secured? Did any of them come loose? A lot of times in movement, some of those will become loose. Um, and just check overall that it looks like it's supposed to look. If the SIM cards didn't fall out or anything like that. In most cases, this probably isn't where the problem is, but you know, if it has power, it's a good start. The next step is let's log into the admin portal of the PepWave and see if maybe some setting got changed. So for this, we're gonna need a computer, a tablet, a phone, anything where you can get to a browser page and connect to the actual PepWave itself. Uh, so in my case, I'm gonna use my computer behind me, but like I said, any, any device will work. All right, once you have the device selected you are going to use, make sure it's connected to the PepWave. If you're using a computer, you could hardwire it, but in most cases, you can just connect to the Wi-Fi um, that the PepWave is giving out. So in my case, I have um, changed the name of the PepWave um, to Aurora's Wi-Fi, but again, yours might say PepWave, and then the last four of the serial. Uh, and the, either way, connect to the Wi-Fi if your device doesn't already. And then you're going to go to the management console. So uh, to get there, you're going to type in the IP address. It is 192.168. Dot five zero dot one. Uh, from that, it will load a screen like this, and you're going to need to log in. The username is admin, and the password is admin by default, uh, unless you've changed it, of course. There we go. So password is there. All right, now we're logged in. So I have res I have actually just landed in a new location for us, and our Wi-Fi is not actually connecting to anything. So I mean, I have Wi-Fi, but there's no internet coming from it. So um, I need to troubleshoot this along with you. My last campground we were at, we were using um, Wi-Fi in the park, and so you can see that's what it's trying to connect to, but obviously it's not working since we're in this new location. Um, so that's one thing you can check, is check to make sure that the priorities of your connections are set up correctly. A lot of times that might be what it is. Um, so in my case, I'm going to um, actually change my cellular one as my main, and I know I'm not going to connect to um, that particular Wi-Fi again, so I can turn that one off. Uh, my cell two I could turn on as a priority two, and I could wait for these to connect. There, now in this case, you're seeing obtaining IP address. Um, that is typically a good sign. That is means that it, it can see that there is signal, it can see that there is service, um, but it might mean if it is stuck on obtaining IP address that you don't, th th there's something wrong with the billing. So either Verizon or AT&T or whoever your network is might have turned off the plan. It could also mean that your device isn't connected correctly to your SIM card. Sometimes those IDs need to match up. If you're trying to do this in a new device and you're stuck on obtaining IP, contact the service provider. They might need to change what, uh, what is called the SSID to get that linked up, um, so you can check that. You can also check signal strength. Um, so here we're seeing four bars of AT&T. Um, however, I'm gonna pull up a speed test, and even with four bars of AT&T, um, it's just not a good signal. Like, like it's it, the signal is fine, but there's no bandwidth coming at me from AT&T. So when I'm trying to stream something on my TV or or load something on my tablet, it's just not going to work. Like this, this should have already connected, and it hasn't. And it, it just the the network might be overworked right now for my location. Um, if that's the case, I suggest looking at a different priority. So switch it to your cellular 2 or switch it to a campground Wi-Fi. That might produce a better speed. You kind of kind of have to play with it every new location. That does bring up a point of bars don't always mean better speed. You can have two bars and have a great speed on your connection. Uh, or like today, you can have full bars and it's still trying to connect and still have really bad service. So full signal strength does not necessarily mean good speed. Uh, it just means you have a great connectivity to the tower, um, but it doesn't mean that that tower is going to have good service per se. 
All right, so in my case, we can see AT&T still isn't really connecting. Um, I'm going to actually connect to the campground Wi-Fi here. So I'm going to bring up our Wi-Fi WAN. Um, you can try it. Like in my case, I have both the 2.4 kind of hertz and the, and the 5 gigahertz um, connections. Typically, campgrounds don't have a 5 gigahertz one. Let's have some really nice speeds. I've already connected to this campground, so there's the, the campground Wi-Fi name. Um, it's, I've already put the password in. If you need to connect to a new one, um, you know you can click on Get Connect, find the one you want. When you hit Connect, if there's a password required, like it will be, let's see, on this one, you can type the password in here and hit Connect, and it will get connected for you. All right, guys, and that's a kind of a quick getting started troubleshooting if you can't get connected. So again, to review real quick, check to make sure your hardware is plugged in. Check to make sure your network priorities are set up correctly. If that's still not working, check to make sure your bill is paid or everything is connected in the cloud correctly with IDs and, and accounts and all that kind of stuff. You might have to call networks for that one. Um, and then if none of that's working, see if there's another way you can connect. See if the campground has Wi-Fi you can use. Try a different SIM card if you've got a different network. You're going to have to kind of be flexible sometimes depending on where you are. And sometimes there's better connections than others. Uh, again, if you do have any questions and this you didn't quite get what you needed out of the video, um, there is going to be an email in the description, and I'll put it right here, um, of who to reach out to, and we will do our best to respond if you have any questions. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us in this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.